everyone. So my presentation today is on the cockroach and the fall armyworm. So background of the cockroach. The scientific name is the Blatteria. They are a relatively small head with a long flattened body, usually reddish to brown in color. They have two larger eyes and two antenna. Um, their findings date back to 270 million years ago during the Permian and there's about 4,400 species of the cockroach, 70 of them living in the United States. Um, another fun fact, the importance of the cockroach allergies has been connected with childhood asthma and being a cause of it, which we'll talk further in the impacts in cockroaches. So moving on to the background of the fall armyworm. The scientific name of the fall armyworm is Spodoptera fugiperta. Hopefully I said that right. Um, they are typically striped grayish green caterpillars with a dark brown black head and an inverted Y on their foreheads, typically yellow, which is how you can distinct them differently from other caterpillars. Um, as they grow older, they turn into moths, and in those adult forms, they are typically a grayish color and they can be brown in the body depending on the sex. In 2016, it was reported that the army worms were seen in the African countries and over in Europe, but they are native to tropical regions of the Western Hemisphere and the United States and in Argentina. So life cycle of the cockroach um, and the insect life of the cockroach. So they typically live in dead leaves in the ground. They like temperate, tropical, terrestrial areas. They like to live um, indoors as well. Some of them have typically are feral, but some of them have acclimated to living inside. And inside they like to live under your stoves, your sinks, your drains, and warm surfaces. So. Um, they typically can be found in your sewers, in your drains, in different living structures. So their life cycle has three cycles typically. It's the egg cycle, the nymph cycle, and the adult cycle. Um, the life cycle of a cockroach begins with an egg. Um, the pests typically lay cases of eggs of 10 to 50 in warm, humid, secluded spots in homes and businesses like I mentioned earlier. Um, it takes the cockroaches about one to two months to hatch, and the egg stage can last anywhere from 14 to 100 days, depending on the climate. Um, most females create a lot of egg cases throughout their life, so that's why we have so many infant stations um, all over the world of them. Um, next in the cockroach life is the nymphal stage, and in the nymphs hatch, and they go through several different molts, and in each molt they have different colors. Sometimes you'll see them as a lighter tan color, and then they'll go into a darker brown color until they get to their final molt, and in their final molt they hatch young, and they taint uh, everything with bacteria. So they carry bacteria, and then they, for about one to two, months and then they go into the adult stage where they reproduce and the whole thing happens over again. Their lifespan is typically from egg to adult 6 to 15 months and they typically are nocturnal scavengers so they like to move at night, they don't like the light and that's when they typically will lay their eggs which is usually under your stoves and everywhere in your house and they have an omnivorous feeding behavior meaning they don't eat animals larger than them, but they eat any type of organic matter, and they like to consume um, anything decaying or bacteria, and they carry a lot of it. So next we have the life cycle of the army worm. So the army worm is typically found in Midwest, Southern Florida, Southern Texas, Minnesota, New York, Kansas, Louisiana, South Carolina. Um, you can pretty much find them anywhere in the United States, especially where there's a lot of 
farming, but then in the United States, that's specifically where they've had a lot of infestations of them. Um, they have four stages in their life cycle. They have the egg, the larvae, the pupa, and the adult stage. Um, the life cycle is typically completed, um, it's different for each season. So during the summertime, it's 30 days. In the springtime and autumn, it's 60 days. And in the winter, it can be anywhere from 80 to 90 days. Um, the eggs are dome-shaped, and they, armyworms can lay anywhere from 100 to 200 like eggs at a time. Um, so the larvae, it goes from the egg and they go into a larvae and in the larvae stage they have some interesting characteristics. So that's where you see them more in the caterpillar stage. And in that stage they practice cannibalism which is interesting. So their feeding habits will be um, on a smaller version of themselves. They'll eat that but they also will eat up to 70 different types of plants, they like to eat corn, Bermuda grasses, small grains, they invade all of those areas. So um, as they get to be adults, in the moth form, they start feeding more on flowers and they like to have flowers such as witch hazel. So impact of the cockroach, they're found all over the world, especially in the tropics and subtropics. They have more risks than benefits and have been reported to spread at least 33 different types of bacteria, including E. coli, salmonella, and they have six intestinal parasitic worms, which are hookworms, giant worms, uh, whipworms, tapeworms, pinworms. So they carry that bacteria on their legs and their back, and then they spread it onto clean surfaces, so your stoves, where you eat, places like that, so it's really important to keep those areas clean and sanitary. Um, another thing is they contain those allergen proteins that I talked about earlier, so they have these allergen proteins on them, and it's, they found it's connected a lot of children with asthma and causing the asthma to worsen, so that's another interesting fact about them. But even though they have a lot of cons and they're pretty disgusting creatures, they do have an ecological role. So they can be used as a recycle, or like a recycle thing in throughout the U.S. So when I say that, I mean they'll eat anything that's dead, decaying matter, um, fermenting stuff, and they can get rid of that. So that's one positive way to look at them. Next, um, impact of the fall armyworm. They strike in most regions of the United States and they're very likely to attack farmland. Um, I couldn't really find many positive things about them. They're very destructive. They cause a lot of damage to corn, small grain, and grass crops. They'll go on the outsides of them and they'll eat the leaves on the edges. They'll dig holes in the leaves. They'll dig into the roots of the crops and eat the roots. They're very invasive and very destructive creatures and they can even destroy the growth potential of plants. So there wasn't a lot of pros with them and it does affect humans as well because that's their crops and their farmland and the produce. So next, how do we control the cockroach? So mechanically we can do barrier exclusions which means you can make barriers to where they can't get into your homes and the big thing is keeping your home clean and sanitary they like to pick up bacteria and carry it so the best thing to do is to make sure your surfaces are wiped um, cleaning everything the best that you can in your home in a biological way outdoors look for dark moist areas close to door decaying organic foods they usually like to reside there and if we can get that um, sorry, that those areas cleaned out and everything, we can try to control them that way. And then chemically, obviously, we can use a licensed pest control. Um, you can use insecticides when you go around and spray your homes, you can, or the cockroach sprays, or you can use different types of baits to try to trap them. Um, how to control the fall armyworm. So one mechanical way to do that is to do early planting. So it'll give you an early harvest. They are seasonal. 
um, creatures, so they like to attack in certain times of the year. So maybe if we plant earlier, we can avoid as much destruction and damage and have an earlier, it will be earlier harvest, but it might be able to control and uh, save and conserve some of those crops. Uh, biologically, there's the bacillus uh, thorogenesis, which is a different type of microbe that will attack those um, naturally. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of hit or miss. And then the last thing is insecticides chemically. They're very hard to manage because um, they're such invasive creatures, so we can only do so much with it and hope for the best. So these are my references. Um, hope you learned some more about cockroaches and fall on your ones. Oh, thank you.